right, Chicago Winchester Field Trial Killers, the Winchester World Team Trials. We're talking about you set out, and then you had um, Don Parrish in the finals. Talk about your game plan was. Uh, so I got to sit out, which was really, really nice. You know, I just had to worry about making weight, but wasn't really too hard because I have like a good nutrition program, a good lifting, and I train really hard. So I was right around the weight. I got to sit out and um, got to rematch from the U.S. Open, and I think that. Uh, I was really hungry just to go in and dominate on it because at the US Open, she, uh, we had a close match, it was 3-5, you know, and I think that I played it too safe then and I just wanted to attack, attack, and I did. Yeah, you came out with a couple of tag falls after your first match, but what was your confidence like going into the second match? Oh, it was amazing, because I knew I can do it, but it was just applying what I had, just, I think at the US Open I stopped wrestling too early, you know, I wrestled hard first period and then I kind of coasted the rest of the time and uh, I think in order to be able to beat Becca Leather, I'm going to have to push and drive and drive and she's a tough opponent, so. Have you faced her much already? Becca Leather? Yes. Yeah, we're one and one, so I beat her before I teched her before at a World Team Child and then she beat me 8-0 at Schultz two years ago, so we haven't really got that other match. Do you like this new process? No, I don't. I don't think it's fair that I have to do all this wrestling, but then again, I mean, hey, you gotta work hard to get where you want to be, so it's nice. Well, when you evaluate Becca and what you've seen of her, how, how have you seen her career progress um, since you guys have wrestled last? I think that uh, my match with Dominique Curse would be harder than my match with Becca Leather, just because I feel like Becca, she just got off of surgery, she hadn't really been wrestling much, but I mean, I'm still not underestimating her, I know she has a really good friend at you know, I know she's really aggressive, so I think it should be a good match, but I see that Becca has had a lot, a lot of success in the international scene, and I feel like we're just coming up and it's going to be a good match. Thank you.